Hey, welcome back to Streamline Entertainment. It's your boy Marvin. Uh, we're going to be talking um, about uh, Courtney Kardashian and Kim. Uh, Kim has been flirting uh, with uh, Travis, who's all, you know, who is the partner of uh, Courtney uh, Kardashian. So let's get on with it. Um, so we've got uh, uh, basically conflict between the two sisters. And like I said, the drama goes on. ...of taking the high road. I mean, I'm on my zone where I'm like, if you bring bad energy in my life, like a boundary goes up. Half of me wants to just put it on blast. It looks like the Kardashians are never not involved in drama. And this time, the drama is all inside the Kardashian house and boy, is it hot. Kourtney Kardashian called out and confronted Kim in a not-so-friendly way after Kim decided it was a good idea to go and flirt with Kourtney's baby daddy Travis Barker. And that's not even half of what we have prepared for today. It seems like Kim is making Kourtney more than just angry, she's also rubbing her fans the wrong way all because of an alleged midlife crisis, which can only be described as sad and scary. But before we move ahead... I think the thing is with Kim, because she's getting a little bit older now and a lot of her relationships have fallen by the wayside and she's mostly to blame in that. Um, I think she's looking at her sisters and her friends and her other family members uh, who have got tight relationships and I bet she's thinking, oh, I wish I had that. Just a gentle reminder to hit that subscribe button, sit tight and grab some popcorn because the tea today is hot. You know, whenever, if we're, you don't care about stuff. Like if she, if it's a but Saturday. But you act like I don't do shit. Do you know all I You have this, this narrative in your I'm mind. Not no, 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 I will literally you up. <laughs> if you mention it again, literally shut the up and don't laugh like that. Okay, so for those of you who have not been keeping up with the Kardashians, let us give you some context about what went down. Kim was on top of her career after the Dolce and Gabbana achievement. She was basking in the glory of all the spotlight and attention she was getting, and she could not have been happier with her life. Especially after she ended things with Kanye, this was the one thing that really made her feel like she was finally moving on and being successful in her life. So it was all sunshine and rainbows for the celebrity, but not for too long. As it always is the case with the Kardashians, they can't go too long without drama. And if there is none, they create it. That's my point. It just goes on and on and on and on. And, but it makes good video. It makes good TV. They're always gonna be in the eye of the media. You know, this, you know, this just so famous um, for good things and bad things. But it's, it's, it's the way of the world now with famous people. And that's exactly what happened. And things just started going downhill for Kim after that. Well, you could say it's Kim's own fault, because as we all know, she has a tendency to think that the world revolves around her. Now you might be wondering what exactly happened and what was so intense that fans are trying to cancel one of the most influential women on the planet. Don't ever come at me like that. Don't, I swear to God, I'll punch you in your face. So do it. Don't f*** with me. I swear do to God. Do it already. Don't f*** with you. Dilly and Dilly. Dilly. Stop. Okay. Stop. You too. Okay. Stop. <laughs> well, you see, Courtney is pregnant. Yes, for those of you who live under a rock, Courtney is pregnant with her first child with Travis Barker who she's been in a pretty serious relationship with since early 2020. Now most of you might be wondering, what does that have to do with Kim? Well, Kim wasn't exactly happy with the announcement. Not because she cares for her sister and thinks that Travis might not be right for her. That wasn't the reason. The reason behind Kim being mad at Courtney was that she decided to announce her pregnancy. According to some insider sources, Kim thinks that Courtney stole her spotlight and did it on purpose. Kim was having the time of her life, finally being painted in good light by the media as a successful woman in business. She was on top of her career. Jesus. Look, um, Courtney has got her own life. She's now married, she, you know, she's got a kid, and she's happy. If Courtney wants to do that and uh, say to the media or to the family and friends, look, um, I'm having a baby with Travis, that's her business, but I think um, with Kim, I think 
um, she tries to make, even if it's family, she wants to come out on top always. Sometimes I think they try to um, out, uh, out compete each other, which is, which, which is not a good thing. It's good to be competitive um, amongst your brothers and sisters, but, you know, you don't take it where you want to fight or, you know, there's major arguments. Career. And then all of a sudden, Courtney announced her pregnancy and took the internet by storm. Since that, no one has really cared about Kim anymore, and everyone wanted to know more about Courtney and Travis. The news didn't take long to go viral, and this was Kim's worst nightmare. She wanted to bask in the glory of media attention for a little longer than this, and she blamed it all on Courtney. Now before we go on and tell you more of the story about what happened in this chaotic, messy drama, make sure to hit that subscribe button and share this video with someone who'd love to know what Kim did. Then shut the f up, stop. ever! You do it or shut the f up! Ever f dig your nails in me like that! Stop it! How f old are you? How f old are you? Shut your f up! Stop! Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 In cinemas now What's that, Chico? You want to share our energy-saving tips and track what we use on our smart meter display? Now, Kim was obviously going to do something about all this, right? She isn't exactly known for sitting anything through. She's known for stirring the pot as much as she can and creating drama when she wants revenge. Just look at what she did with Taylor along with her husband Kanye West. Anyways, so Kim started spiraling, plotting and thinking of ways she could turn this very happy memory for Courtney into a bitter one. And boy did she almost succeed. Courtney hosted a party to make the announcement properly among family after she announced it to Travis at a game. The dinner party was great, and the whole family was there, the Jenners included. And it was obvious that everyone was really happy for Courtney. Well, everyone except Kim. Courtney and Travis have had a perfect relationship in the public eye, despite fans being super against their relationship. And now, someone inside the house was trying to break them up. Her own sister. And that too, while Courtney was pregnant. Terrible. And it is almost over just attention seeking. That's all is over is attention seeking. Who's the top dog? Who's, um, um, I have to be the media. Um, 24 seven. Sometimes um, amongst famous families, you've got to let someone else have the limelight and get the attention for um, having a baby or for getting married, Courtney, you know, because everyone knows Kim Kardashian is probably the most famous of all the sisters. So sometimes she needs to sort of give her a little bit of leeway to her sisters to come to the forefront. Now that's what you call a classic Kardashian scandal. It was at this party that Courtney finally realized what her own sister had been plotting. And Courtney made sure that Kim didn't succeed in her evil plans. I shouldn't have to ask her for permission. I thought I was being like actually really mindful. At this dinner party, Courtney noticed that Kim was trying to be a little too close to Travis. And this would have been normal if Kim didn't previously express no interest in even being friends with the guy. Suddenly, she was really interested in everything that Travis was doing, trying to make small talk with him. According to an insider source, Kim was being a little too touchy with Courtney's baby daddy, and Courtney finally caught Kim clearly flirting with Travis near the end of the dinner party when everyone was planning to leave. And this was the final straw for Courtney, so she walked up to her sister and gave it to her straight. Courtney allegedly was very rude and straightforward with Kim about what she thought was going on and it really took Kim by surprise because she didn't have any explanations for her actions. Of course, Travis never flirted back, which made fans rethink their disapproval of the couple. And speaking of Travis and Kim, there's a lot that new fans don't know. And honestly, if you don't know this side of the story... That's pretty out of order, to be honest with you, because obviously, uh, Courtney and Travis, they're happy. You can see they're happy and they're getting on with it. They're having a kid. Look, um, there may be people who are not supporters of Travis at the end of the day, but look, give the guy a chance. Um, like I said, they were always in the spotlight. Um, Travis has got a past. But look, at the end of the day, it seems like they love each other. They're having a kid and they're married. Um, let them get on with it. But I think 
with Kim. I'm sure she wishes that she was um, with someone that had deep feelings for her and vice versa. And uh, like I said, a, a lot of her relationships um, finish kind of badly where um, a partner or a husband as seems to have vendettas um, against her, which is good. So there's that saying, isn't it? What comes around goes around. You're missing half the fun because trust us, what we're about to tell you is going to blow your mind and make you rethink everything, literally. She did say that every one of her friends thinks Oh yeah, because she's saying every one of her friends, but she doesn't have any friends. So, Travis? No. Almost a decade ago, Kim wasn't exactly as big of a star as she is now. In fact, she was the assistant of Paris Hilton. The two were also good friends before it all came crashing down. The 2000s were a scary place for literally everyone, so no judgment there. But during this time, Kim started getting famous because of her association with Paris Hilton, and that's how she met Travis for the first time. Paris and Travis dated back in 2006 for a very short time. After Travis got divorced, he and Paris got into a relationship that only lasted a few months. During this time, he met Kim and saw how hot she was. After Kim and Paris had a fallout, and Paris broke up with Travis, both unrelated by the way, Travis publicly stated that he had the hots for Kim. He had a big fat crush on Kim and the two flirted from time to time, but never took it further. Who knew that a few years later he'd be marrying her sister, while she tries to flirt her way back in just to spite her sister. Scandalous, won't you agree? And not to mention how Courtney has always been supportive to Kim. It seems sometimes, uh, especially with his family, sometimes it can be destructive at the end of the day. We know it's about fame. We know it's about money. But um, sometimes self-values is very, very important amongst sisters, amongst brothers, um, amongst family, amongst good friends, you know. But um, like I said, but. I think they're always going to be frontline in the frontline media. I think they like it like that. I don't think they like it any other way. And Kim backstabbing her like this has really made fans mad, flooding her Instagram comments saying how they support Courtney and see right through what Kim is doing. And that was all that we had time for in today's video. Do you think Kim was right for plotting revenge on her pregnant sister for stealing her spotlight? Do you think Courtney really stole her spotlight on purpose, or was it just an unfortunate coincidence for the both of them? Whose side are you on in this sage? Let us know all about it down in the comment section below. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe. Well, that's the end of the video, but um, like I said, the drama goes on. Um, is Courtney gonna trust uh, Kim um, around Travis? Are they gonna flirt again? Is there another fight in the pipeline at the end of the day? There's always entertainment um, with the uh, Kardashians. So don't forget to subscribe to Streamline Entertainment and uh, follow me. Thank you very much. Until the next time.